Hi guys, today we're unboxing the TVS951X, which is the brand new 9-bay NAS in our new series. And before we open the box, uh, let's check on the features on the counter. And we can see that we have a better CPU and the DDR4 DRAM. And we have snapshot and virtualization station. And for the TVS951X, we said it's suitable for home and office user. It is an x86 structure NAS and it has one built-in 10G RJ45 port and then it can do the hardware transcoding for two channels at the same time. Of course, it has a 5 bay of a 3.5 inch disk and 4 of the SSD tray at the same time. So uh, the CP value is very high. Inside the carton, we can see two forms on the up and down side of the NAS for shock absorbing purpose. And the accessory pack is right here. We have user manual, and then we have screws and cables and the adapter right here. So now let's check on the TVS951X. This is the TVS951X. It is using the Intel Celeron 3865U of the processor, and it's dual core, and the clock speed can reach to 1.8 GHz. And it has a built in GPU, so it will be faster and more efficient when you are doing the video transcoding, and the loading to the NAS will also be lower. Then uh, it has 2 GB and 8 GB for the DDR4, and top it can support to 32. Gigabyte. And let's check on the front panel. TVS951X is using the hairline design and the dimension is even smaller than the previous version. Right here we have 5 of 3.5 inch of the hard disk tray and right here is 4 for 4.5 SSD tray. No matter you are looking for a bigger storage space or a faster read and write speed, this one can fit your requirement. And right here we have a power button and a USB 3.0 plug. This also supports one button copy. Just plug your external devices right here and press the button. It will directly copy your file into the folder. Let's check on the rear panel. This is the built-in speaker and 3.5mm audio output. And here is the most important thing, the 10 gig RJ45 internet port. And here is for the 1 gig. And here is the HDMI output that you can display 4K video. And for here, we have three USB 3.0 plug here. And here is the DC jack. For here is our smart fan. And on the top of the machine, we have a quick install stem. After your NAS connected into the internet, you can just use your mobile phone and scan the QR code. Then you have done the settings. Let's check on the test. For one 10GB file, 10G ports takes around 13 seconds, but for 1G, it's only at around 15%. The difference comes greater under a larger files. So how can we make our work team to have a 10 gigs transmission speed? It's very easy. You just use our Q switch QSW120A AC or A044C with our QXG 10G1T card and that will be. Okay, now we have all know how to upgrade the internet speed. Then let's talk about how to upgrade the read and write speed of the NAS itself. Let's check on here. We have four SSD tray. So we have two solutions for you. First, use the SSD as catch, and the second is use the QNAP exclusive function, Q-tier function, to speed up your read and write speed. So we all know that as SSD catch, it will enhance your read and write speed in the SSD, but the storage space will be sacrificed, which is a kind of waste. So the Q-tier function is not only that you can use the SSD as catch, you can also use the storage space from the SSD which will give you a larger storage space. So since the processor has the built-in GPU, let's talk about how it works. While doing the video transcoding from high resolution to lower resolution, the GPU will take most of the jobs, so uh, the NAS loading will be less. So if you are going to see the videos through your remote devices, such as cell phone or tablet, or you just want to use the HDMI output into the monitor, the GPU will help a lot. And then at the same time, you can still use the CPU loading to do the other jobs. Then let's talk about snapshot. What is snapshot? That is a function can help you to recover all your files if you are under a malware attack or you just mistakenly uh, delete some important files. The snapshot can recover your files and your data back to when you took it. And for the TVS951X can take 1024 snapshots. So these are the five main features about TVS951X. 
we have GPU hardware transcoding, and we have 4K HDMI output, 1024 snapshots, SSD for 4 for your catch, and then the most important, the 10G RJ45 internet port. So now you're all clear? So besides all the features, the TPS951X is using the QTS operation system. So you can download so many different other apps on our App Center, such as file management or the multimedia play or download, something like that. And since that is an x86 structure NAS, you can run your virtualized machine on that. So with our virtualization station, you can run the Windows, Linux, or even Ubuntu, then turn your NAS into a multiple function computer. So this is our x86 structure new model in 9 Bay series NAS. If you want to know more, please go to our website to check TS963X and 932X. So uh, this is all the information about the TVS951X of the unboxing. We hope you like it. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. We will see you next time in NAS unboxing. Bye-bye.